Given that I had an extra year to prepare for Tokyo and with a postponement of the, the games in 2020, um, I chose to try and find the positives in a negative situation. And uh, I thought about it for a while, but you know, I, ch I, I love a challenge. And I thought, well, given I've got another year, why don't I try and qualify for the paracycling team for Tokyo? And um, so that's what I've, I've started. And it's, it'll be a 16 kilometer time trial race and a 50 kilometer road race at Tokyo. And um, so hopefully I'll have the three events, the para triathlon, then two days later, the, the time trial, and then one day later, the road race. So I really got to prove that I can, I can back up. <laughs> but um, I'm here in Ballarat at the moment for national cycling this week. And it's my, you know, my one important chance to prove that uh, I'm worthy of uh, qualifying for the team. Well, it's really hard with COVID at the moment. I'm unable to race the international athletes um, that are doing the hand cycling. Uh, so I'm he here for nationals. Basically, Cycling Australia have to go from looking at my data, like my power output, my speed and time, and they have to um, compare that against the current hand cycling world champion. And basically, I need to be ahead of the the current hand cycling world champion to be selected for the team. So basically I've got to prove that I'm a gold medal potential to be selected for the team. Um, I'm really going out on the course just um, with a time in my head and just racing, you know, the numbers.